going back through the Stiverses, the Reeds, the Garrets, you know, all the people your grandparents uh, have gone through. Uh, my mom and dad have bought this old place in 1980 from their siblings, my dad's siblings, and it's been there since 1853. Mm. Uh, that's when we, the closest we can get to establishing mm. it. It was started off as a log cabin, and over the years was, you know, tongue and groove, plywood and molding, and it's still the house that sits there. And um, when we were remodeling it and helping my dad when I was a lot younger there, I could fit between the cracks. I can't fit between the cracks now. Uh, we cut out some of the old yellow poplar logs and have them that, that made up the, the building as it existed when it was built in the 1850s. So it's uh, quite an old place and uh, clannish people we are in Eastern Kentucky. Most of my cousins, or a lot of my cousins, still live in an, on our round, uh, about a five or 600 acre farm that uh, was the old farm that was made up a couple of generations ago. Boy, there's not a lot of people, uh, I think, today that can claim that uh, of still having a, a home place uh, and trace it back to 1853. Well, we every, my first year in the session, as I drove back, I got a call that my uncle was sick and probably gonna pass and I went to be with him. And we went in for the funeral after he passed away and all my cousins, several of my aunts and uncles that were still living, we all got together and from that point on, we decided we were gonna get together for something other than a funeral. Hmm. So starting that next July 4th, uh, we have opened up the house because that's where a lot of my first cousins, second cousins all came back to, hmm. that every July 4th we have a picnic and they're all invited back. And we'll generally have 40, 50 people at minimum hmm. show, up, show up for that type of get together at the old home place.